my doctor even asked me today because I told him about what we're doing. And he told me, oh, would you like to look into getting into Ozempic? And I said, sir, to be honest, this is me one month in. And I managed to drop down 11 pounds. Give me another three months and let's see where I'm at and we'll touch base again. I'll tell you the truth, the fact that I'm doing this on my own, I'm going to probably look at the doctor when I go back to my appointment in three months and be like, I don't need it, man. All right, my name's Sebastian Garcia, NYC. I am 38 years old. I unfortunately have gone through a lot of hardships in uh, the last couple of years. COVID didn't kill me, but everything else wanted to. I'm pretty much a cancer survivor, down one kidney, so... Tore my left meniscus right the hell in half the day after my wedding. All the wonderful uh, weight loss I did before the wedding being at 280 and unfortunately skyrocketing all the way up to like almost 350 pounds. Mm. I was seriously stuck in a really bad place. But you know what? If it wasn't for Alex reaching out and telling me, why'd you like like my page and follow? I probably would have been stuck in this whole like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admire this guy for lifting all these amazing weights. Oh, man, I wish I could do that. And you know what? You guys gave me the hope. Not the hope. You gave me the drive that I needed to be like, wait, I can fucking do that. Yeah. I can be the guy in the gym. Yesterday, I had an actual follow-up appointment with my doctor, my GP. Sebastian, you're down 11 pounds. You dropped your cholesterol. My um, my blood pressure down like 60 points. And I got to say, it's I, you guys really helped me out with that, man. And Nas says it too. He's like, dude, you're within touch of 300 pounds. It's right there. You're currently 308, right? Or a little bit below now? Uh, 305? When, for my wedding, it was 280. Okay. So I was super happy. And then that's when my health just took a major nosedive. Yeah. I think a lot of people get a little bit scared taking that first step. And I get it. It's social media. Like, I'm just some random guy from across Alex, the world. Alex, you were the one who approached me randomly and said, question, why'd you even follow my page? I got to thank you for actually being the one to, to reach out. So, uh, you know, I thank you for that, man. You got me going a lot better. You put me in a place I haven't been to in a long time, and I love it. When was that so you felt like this? When I did martial arts, man. That was high, that was 20 years ago. 20 years ago. How do you Yeah, I'm like... Now? Like, this is exciting, man. I love it. At some point, I was actually, like, dreading, dreading, like, hanging out with some of my friends. I actually went back and said, I want to actually, I'm a big fan of Dungeons and Dragons, so I'm actually organizing, and I'm going to run a game next week for my friends for July 6th. They're all going to come over, having a couple of drinks, and just doing something I haven't done in a while. So this is actually, like, kind of nice. You guys... Kind of gave me this pep in my step I didn't have before. Mm -hmm. So I'm super happy about that. Believe me, I was a crazy bastard back in the day. I jumped off uh, cliffs in Dominican Republic. I uh, I would take take chances that you probably shouldn't have, but I've done it. It really shows that if I push it, I can do this. Yeah. Plus, my wife said, you got pecs now. I'm like, it's only been, a, it's only been like four weeks. Relax. <laughs> You're basically a slimmer. I'll give you that. I was looking at your photos. And to tell you the truth, the videos that you supplied us with to do exercises, I swear to God, I mean, it, it's simple, stupid stuff. Like, you can't fuck it up. So I'm just like, <laughs> I'm glad I'm doing it right. Everything I do, man, I try to explain it in a way where it's super digestible and consumable. You made it so simple and easy. It's like reading the spark notes yeah, that's, to, that's... to working out. You gave us the, the implements <laughs> to do it, but at a freaking... At a grade school level, I can understand, and I'm, I love it. The major roadblock had to be, I was wondering how I was going to deal with my fat ass, like, being hungry all the time. But tell you the truth, the the diet plan you guys got me on, I've actually eaten more than I did with those crash diets I've done and stuff like that. And I can't believe I was checking out my high blood pressure to yesterday, and I dropped it by, like, 40, 60 points. I'm absolutely thrilled that this is actually working out. Dude, doctors, man, they're so quick to jump to medication, fat diets, crash diets. And I'm like... The fact he told me, hey, you want to try Ozempic? I'm like, no, nah, man. I kind of <laughs> like the old natural way to do it right now. Yeah, and I see it happen a lot. I mean, I speak to a lot of guys on these calls, like this one similar that we had. And they're like, oh, you know, my doctor told me to try eating one meal a day. They tried, you know, Ozempic and all these random solutions and i'm like it's just not sustainable it's not a lifestyle for you to do you know you can't change it forever i tried this crash diet my friend put me on it was like 
Five protein shakes a day. Five protein shakes a day. How was your digestion? Five protein. <laughs> oh my god. Branch amino acids. Like, oh my. It was such a lot of pills. Had to do it on schedule, and I got down. But unfortunately, the weight, the weight gain afterwards was just un completely undid everything. So with you guys, I'm maintaining what I'm losing, and I'm really happy about it. the first three days of like eating like a these meals. I was like, wait, this doesn't suck that bad. The first two days, the first two days of working out sucked, but it was like this is doable. Yeah, this yeah. is completely doable. And then from there, I mean, I was putting in my reviews for some of these work. Oh, I hate preacher curls, by the way. Yeah. Fuck preacher curls. <laughs> what the hell? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's a good uh, I'm so, it is, but they suck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going with my left arm. Yeah, yeah. So, but you know what? It shows results, and it's showing that like every time I look at that sweaty ass shirt that I take off afterwards, I'm like, that's fucking work I put in. Yeah. And I'm happy about it. So, so far, man, like, I know it's one month in, but how would you say it's changed your life so far? I like, got, I, mean, I got more energy. Yeah. Like, I'm super surprised. After a month, I really do have more energy. I'm a big guy. So when I get up in the morning, I normally feel the aches and pains. And I'm just like, you know, ah, oh, kill me now. But I'm waking up and I'm just like, I'm motivated now. Mm -hmm. I have... A, a goal I need to reach. My motivation right now is to live long enough to see, to, to grow old with my wife. I'm trying to push forward. I'm trying to see 40. Yes. And I love the community. I, I feel I feel bad about this. I'm not much of a talker online, especially on the Discord, because I see all those wonderful people. Shout out to all the wonderful people on the Discord, because unfortunately I don't write a lot because I just don't like being on my phone that much. Mm. But I see all the messages and I want to send my love. Because they, they are true. They, 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 to see people's progress also helps. That's I'm not awesome. the only one. And people are joining like every day. So that's awesome to see. Yeah. So it's other people getting getting their shit together and going, yeah, man, I want to do something different too. So it's it. great to see that yeah. it's not just me. It's other people in this community. Dude, you should, if you can, Seb, like I'd love to see in those group calls. The, the energy is great. It's motivating and it's just a good community to be around. A lot of the guys are in very similar positions. They're like 300 to one guy just joins 400, 450 pounds. I'm super glad you we're taking the initiative to do it this way instead of, you know, resorting to, to like surgeries or medications. Like my mother got the gastric bypass and she almost died. You always hear the side effects about it saying, I'm either really, really hungry or I'm not hungry at all. And I, I'm like, I don't, that doesn't sound like a trade-off I want. I like being able to eat what I can with you, with what you guys gave me. Honestly, you guys actually got me switching to uh, <laughs> low-carb beers. I'm a big beer <laughs> right. fan, too, so I actually You're switched right. over. I was just... It's like all these little habits that compound that dramatically changes your life in the course of one year, two years, three years, right? Like, my goal here, Seb, is to really be able to educate everyone that joins on how to do the process on their own so that they can, you know, you might get down to, let's say 215 and I don't know, maybe you want to lose more weight or you want to build muscle. You'll be able to do that on your own. You'll be able to learn how to lose weight on your own. And hell man, you might even be able to help other people lose weight because you, you were given the tools, the resources, the education. And, you know, that's where the gap is for a lot of people because there's information out there 100%. But what's missing is the applicability to the individual right the practicality everybody's life is so different we have the information at the tips of our fingers but do we take the chance to actually use it you, you guys really gave me that little something to strive for and my wife loves it she's just like she hasn't seen me this energetic in a while so it's actually really nice yeah i love having these conversations these catch-up calls and reminds me that we are genuinely changing people's lives like it gives my life so much meaning so much purpose and thank you for you know, jumping the gun, putting your trust in me and in us to be able to help you throughout your journey. If you were speaking to someone that was on the verge, you know, they've been thinking about it, but they just can't pull the trigger, man. Like, what is something you would say to them? Stop pussyfooting around. Just do it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the shit. Stop procrastinating and get to it. Well, again, I thank you guys for showing me that there, there's, there's more to this shit. There's people out there that want good for you. Not just, not just 
there are people out there that just want to see you like fucking fail and you guys actually want to see us succeed and do better and i'm really grateful for that so i am i applaud you guys and thank you for that a lot